This is Nick with LogosByNick.com, and in today's tutorial, I'll be demonstrating how you can create this Christmas sweater pattern using Inkscape. Now, this is something I originally saw done with Illustrator on another channel I follow called Spoon Graphics. I'll put a link to his video in the description to give him credit. Uh, and make sure to check out his channel if you're into Photoshop and Illustrator stuff as well. He's got some pretty good stuff on there. Uh, but I want to show you how to do the same thing, but with Inkscape. And I'm going to go about it a little differently. I'm going to show you how to create a single tile that can be repeated infinitely so that you can have a pattern of whatever size you'd like. So let's go ahead and get started here with Inkscape. I want to set up our document first and foremost. I'll go to File, Document Properties, and I want to set the display units to pixels. Uh, I want to turn off the visibility of the page border. And then I want to change the background color of the document. So I'm going to click on that because we're going to be working with the color white in this tutorial. And if we leave the background white, it's not going to, it's, it's going to give us trouble. So what I like to do is I just click on the HSL tab and take this L row and slide this to the left to make this background gray. It doesn't have to be gray. It could be whatever color you want that isn't white. Go ahead and close out of that and then close out of that. And what we want to do now is go to view. Make sure we have custom selected. Zoom in at one to one. And then open up the align and distribute menu with this button up here. We're going to want last selected chosen from this drop down. And then open up the edit objects, colors, gradients, and stroke menu with that button there. And then finally, what we want to do is come up here to where it says enable snapping in the top left corner. Make sure you have that turned on. And then over here, snap nodes, pads, and handles, turn that on. And then over here where it says snap to cusp nodes, Make sure that's enabled. And then the one next to it as well, it says snap smooth nodes. Go ahead and enable that. And once we've done that, we should be good, uh, good to get started. So let me grab the circles and ellipses tool. I'm going to click and drag on the canvas to create a nice long ellipse like that. Somewhere, somewhere about that size is pretty good. It doesn't have to be exact. I think this one came out as 185 by 479 if you want to use what I'm working with here. So let me go back to the uh, circles tool. I'm going to go to path, object to path in order to convert that to a path. Then I'll grab the select tool and I'm going to click on the object so that we get the rotation handles. And then I'm going to hold control on the keyboard and take this top right handle and then just bring this to the left one step like that. So it's slanted a little bit. And I'll duplicate that by hitting control D and I'll bring that over here. And then I'll flip that horizontally with the button up here that says flip selected objects horizontally. And what I want to do now is grab this object down towards the bottom and then just snap it onto the bottom of the other object like that. And what we could do now is click and drag over both of those and unify them by going to Path, Union. And now we can turn off the snapping for the rest of the tutorial. Otherwise, it'll just get in our way. So once we've done that, let me take this, hold Control and Shift and scale it down. I want to make this a medium shade of green. I'm going to come down here to the color picker and choose... Uh, Maybe I'll go with this right here, 338000. Doesn't have to be exact, just any medium shade of green should work. And I want to create six copies of this, I actually create five copies of it, and this will be the sixth one, all stacked next to each other horizontally. So I'm going to hit Control D to duplicate that, hold Control, click and drag this over to the right, hold Shift, click on the original object. And then click this button over here that says align left edges of objects to the right edge of the anchor. And so that they're stacked up next to each other like that and hit group to group them together. So what I'll do now is I'll duplicate that again by hitting control D, hold control, bring this over here, hold shift, click on the original grouping and stack those next to each other as well. Click off of that to deselect everything. Take just this one right here, hit control D to duplicate. Hold control, bring this over here, and then hold shift, click on the one to the, to the right over there, and then just stack it next to it right there as well. And what we could do now is click and drag over all three of those, ungroup them, and then group them back together. And now I want to make 14, I want to have 14 rows going vertically. So let me zoom out a little bit. I'm going to hold control and roll down the mouse wheel to zoom out. If you want to move the page around, you can just press down the mouse wheel and move the mouse as well. I'm going to duplicate that by hitting Control D. Click and drag this down here. Hold Shift. Click on the uh, original grouping up there. And then click this button over here that says align top edges of objects to the bottom edge of the anchor. And that's going to stack it right beneath it perfectly like that. And I want to group that together. 
Hit Control-D to duplicate that again. Hold Shift, stack that up against there just like we previously did. And you should get the idea now. We're gonna create 14 rows of this. So we have two, four. Let me create a, another one. Stack that up right there so that we have six. And then I'll duplicate all of these. Control D, group them together. Move this down here, hold Shift, click on the original one, stack that like that. And this should be 12. And then I'll just take two more right here. Control D, move this down here like that. And then just stack that up against it right there. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna click and drag over all of those and I'm gonna ungroup. I'm gonna press ungroup a few times so that everything is ungrouped into individual pieces like that. And I just wanna double check. I just wanna make sure one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, 14. So we want six by 14 and then we're good to go. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna start coloring this in to create our pattern. And to create the pattern that I outlined in the beginning of the video, uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna skip this first row and come down to the second row and the second one in on the second row. We're gonna make that white. And then I'll take the second from the last in that same row and make that white as well. Then I'll come down to the next row and take these two right here and make them white. You could select multiples by clicking on it and then holding shift and clicking on the other one. So I'm gonna select the two beneath that, make that white as well. Then I'll take these two down here and make them white so that we have kind of like a little X, which is supposed to be sort of like a snowflake. It'll all come together in the end when we create more of them and zoom out a little bit. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna skip this row and I'm gonna take this entire row right here and make them white. And then I'll come down here I want to skip this first row. I want to make this one right here white. And then I want to make this bottom row right here. I want to make that all white. Then I want to skip this next row up and then come to the next row up from there. So it's the third from the bottom. Make that white as well. And then make this next one up above it diagonally. Make that one white as well. And then this one and then this one. Make those two white. And then start coming back down the other way. Click that one, make that white, and then take this one and make that one white. And then finally, we'll click this top one right here and go down to the bottom. This one right here, we wanna make that white as well. So if, you, if you'd like to go ahead and pause the video at this point right here so that you can color in your uh, pieces so that they are matched up with mine and then we should be good to go. So let me zoom out, click and drag over all of those. I wanna group them together and then I wanna right click that and go to copy. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna grab the rectangles, the, uh, the squares and rectangles tool click and drag to create a rectangle like that and go to edit. Well, first you should come over here where it says make corners, make corners sharp. Make sure you have that uh, grayed out. If you can click that, go ahead and click it. We don't want rounded corners with what we're about to do. So we'll go to edit, paste size, paste size. And it's gonna make it the same size as these objects right here. We'll go to path, object to path. And I want to make this uh, a shade of dark green. So I'm going to come back down here to the color picker. And I believe the color I used before was this one right here. I'm going to make this the darkest shade of green, which is 112B00. You can use whatever shade you like. I'm just going to go with this one. Grab the select tool. Um, I'm going to click the button over here. We're going to grab this object and click the button over here that says lower selection to the bottom. And then click and drag over both of these objects right here and then just center them up on the uh, the vertical and horizontal axis like that. And then we can group them to both together. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold control and roll down the mouse wheel a little bit to zoom out. We now have a single tile that could be repeated infinitely and it'll create our pattern. So to show you, let me show you what I mean. I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna go to edit, clone, create tiled clones. Let me grab that menu from my other screen. There we go. And under symmetry, simple translation, I'm going to come down here to where it says rows and columns. I want to make three rows and 10 columns. And I'm going to go ahead and click create. And then you'll see it'll generate it across your screen. Now, you might have to give it a minute to process if you're using a slower machine because this is, we're creating a whole bunch of little data points within the system. So it's a little CPU intensive. So just go ahead and give it a minute to process if it takes a while. And once you've done that, you can see we've created our pattern. It has like that, that sort of that, uh, that Christmas sweater sort of look to it. If you zoom in closely, it doesn't look like much, but if you zoom out, it really starts to, it really starts to resonate as kind of like a holiday sweater. So that's pretty much how you could do that. One last thing I want to show you is 
Um, let me take this one to the top left and move that out of the way. And then I want to take the other one to the top left and move that out of the way. And then take this other one and just put it back in there. I'm going to click that, hold shift, click on the other one, center it on the horizontal axis, and then click this button over here that says align right edges of objects to the left edge of the anchor. Put that back in there. Now if I want to change the color of any of these objects in here, it's going to change the color in all of the objects here. So let me show you what I mean. I'm going to grab the Edit Paths by Nodes tool. Let me zoom in. I'm going to grab this one right here, and I'm going to make that yellow. Let me zoom out first so you can see what happens. I'm going to make this yellow, and it's not, going to, it's not just going to make that one yellow. It's going to make all of these yellow as well. I'll do the same thing here. Click on that, make that one yellow, and you get the idea. So that's how you can go about easily changing the colors of this design if you so desire. So um, that's pretty much how that works. Here's the, um, if, if you want to use this as like a background on a website or like in a mobile application or something, what you would do is you would take this object and export it as a .png and then once you upload it, it'll just be repeated infinitely to fit the, uh, the size of the end user's screen. So that's how you can go about creating this holiday sweater sort of pattern using Inkscape. If you have any questions, let me know. And as always, thanks for watching.